Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. I'm going to show you how to manually spray with the Agris T40, both manually in the air, flying manually, spraying with the controls manually. I'm also going to show you how to manually spray on the ground, meaning what happens if you have chemical left in the tank, need to rinse it out, need to spray it out, need to clean your tanks out on the ground. How exactly do you do that? Uh, both are essentially the same, just one's in the air, one's on the ground. So I'm going to go in the trailer. Uh, we can look at the screen and then I'll show you some settings first and then we'll like get back out here and show you the rest. Okay, so to get to your manual operation, again on the T40, you just have to go into begin. Fasten all on securely to prevent potential safety risks. Go up here to the top left, switch it over to manual mode. And then the only settings we have on screen, again, we don't have any, any uh, swath width or, or route spacing or speed. That's all done manually. The only setting we have is droplet size. So we click droplet size. We can choose extra coarse, coarse, extra fine, whatever. So select the droplet size you want, click back, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So now, let's get back out here and I'll show you how to spray on the ground first and we'll get it up in the air. If you want to do manual spraying in the air for spot spraying weeds or anything like that, then of course you want to make sure your droplet size is set correctly. You also want to make sure that your discharge rate is set correctly. So discharge rate meaning gallons per minute, not gallons per acre, but your flow because we're spraying manually so there actually is no area to associate with it. So you can't do gallons per acre, you have to do gallons per minute. So to test that out, put some water in the tank and then your red button up here on the top left, push that red button. That's going to spin up our props. They're going to start spraying. You'll notice that they spin really fast right at the beginning and then they slow down. So after they slow down, that is your actual droplet size. Of course, it'll be changed whenever your props are blowing over it. Now to change your discharge rate, it's the dial right next to the red button. It's right here. This dial changes your discharge rate. Your discharge rate is shown at the bottom. So we have our flow. Right now it says 3.65 gallons per minute. And if we just hold this dial over to the left, right now I'm holding it, the pumps are beginning to slow down. So we're gonna hear those pumps wind down. We're gonna see our discharge rate. Now we're down to two gallons per minute. So it's important to set this on the ground before you have actual chemical loaded into the tank and you're up in the air. Okay, so let's say you've actually got chemical in the tank and you want to spray it out on the ground, but you don't want it to spray all over the drone or all over the ground. So you can actually turn these pumps on uh, without spraying anywhere by either doing one of two things. You can take off uh, this hose right here, and that'll just uh, dump your chemical out of that hose and turn the pumps on. Or you can take off these nozzles right here. First, you have to take off the wing nut on the bottom, just like that. And then it's the black nut that goes on top of that. There's a spring also. That whole nozzle can come off. And of course, you can put a bucket or a pan under there and turn on your sprayer again, just like we did last time. And now you see it just drips out instead of actually spraying everywhere. Uh, a lot cleaner if you just want to just spray your chemical out without it going everywhere. You can do the same thing by taking off uh, or loosening up that nut right there. That is your uh, tank uh, drain. But sometimes it's easier to have a bit more control over it by being able to press a button to have it turn on. I'm gonna reinstall this, then I'll show you how to get it up in the air and how to spray. We have our nozzle installed again. So now all we're gonna show you is how to take off manually and spray manually in the air. Um, this is really the same as being on the ground. We're just using our red button, we're using our dial to change rate, and we're just flying it manually. But there's a couple of nuances here I want to show you um, uh, once we get it up in the air. All right, so first we're going to take off, and this is taking off manually, just like you would normally do. Fly it out into the field. Okay, so now all we have to do is just push our red button and that's spraying. 
That's it. That is as simple as manual spraying is. Push the red button, make sure your, uh, your discharge rate is correct, and all you have to do is fly it. There's a few things you can do. You can uh, switch back and forth from your camera to your map, which is pretty useful for this by just tapping on your camera or your map uh, pictured in the bottom left-hand corner. You can also use your camera icon right there, a camera button, switch, and that'll switch your screens back and forth. You can move your camera up and down with your left dial if you want to look at weeds that are right underneath the drone. And you just turn it off with the red button. Now there are, the, the, the drone will not actually control rate or turn the sprayer off except for two instances. If it sees an obstacle and it stops, then the sprayer will shut off. Or if you fly backwards, the sprayer will shut off. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to turn the sprayer on, there we can see it spraying. So I can spray left and it's still spraying. I can spray right and I can go forward or diagonal. But if I move the control stick back, now we're flying backwards, the sprayer shuts off. Once you stop, it turns back on. This is essentially so you don't cover the drone in chemical or try not to cover the drone in chemical or so you don't retrace uh, your steps essentially. All right, so now we're going to fly towards an obstacle. Here we have a pole right in front of us. I'll fly towards the obstacle. I'm pushing the right stick towards the obstacle. There you go. It saw the obstacle. It stopped. I'm pushing the stick forward. It's not going anywhere because it is put on the emergency brake essentially and it cut the sprayer off. So now I fly away from the obstacle. The sprayer does not turn back on until you manually turn it on again, just like that. All right, that is manual spraying 101. Um, that's all you do. You can just turn it on and turn it off, fly around, spray whatever you need to be spraying. Thanks, see you guys.